What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to simply request access to a client's Facebook business page. Now, depending on how deep you're going in with them, if you're going to be running, you know, major Facebook ads, then you'll want to request access to their ad account. In this particular video, I'm going to just be showing you how to how to request access to their business page. Maybe you're, they're hiring you to, to, to add you know, a few links or maybe update or maybe add some photos or maybe manage their page. You have to get access to it. You have to request access. And there was a few different ways that I used to do this. Again, I've been, I've been doing this since 2016. So I've tried different ways to try to make it the least stressful and the least you know, um, um, amount of work that the client, you know, had to do on their end. I want to be able to do everything on my end so I don't have to stress them out. Um, I've tried many, many different ways to try to get access to this page. And I said, you know what, just give me your damn password. I'll log in and I'll do it myself. And this is how I do it. So when I onboard a client and again, depend on, on what I'm doing for them. A lot of the times I'll do a few services for them up front really build the value, really build the relationship, and then schedule a call for two weeks out to get them on a monthly retainer and charge them even more. That's my actual model. That's what, I, what I've what i been doing. That's how, I, I, how I've done it. And so in the very, very beginning, if I'm only going to do a few basic things for them, I don't need their ad account, um, access to the ad account. I just need access to the business page. And I don't want to keep logging into their account. So I have to request access so I can manage it from my end. Okay. So here's how I do it. When I, when I onboard a client, I set up a landing page, a simple landing page um, through Kartra. And the reason why I set it up this way is so I can just enter their name and email. And right when I hit game time, an email automatically goes out to them. And that's my onboarding email. So my onboarding email kind of just consists of information that I need. Their login, what the what 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 we're going to be doing to the pages, basic stuff, basic information to to allow me to to get into the page. Um, and so that is the first email that goes out the moment I, I I opt them in. This isn't a page that I send them, okay John, you know, freaking, I'm going to send you my link, fill out the form and click on game time. No, I just do it. I just do it on my end. They don't even see this page, but it, the reason why I do it this way is because again, I have it all set up through Kartra where the, the page is tied to, to a thank you page, this form, when you opt in, it goes to a specific list. And then from that list, there's an email autoresponder, which is the sequence. So I have the whole back end set up, which is really the email autoresponder all because of this landing page. They opt in and then all of a sudden the email autoresponder, the sequence is triggered and then they'll automatically be getting emails over the next few weeks. And that's how I stay in touch with the client. And that's how I even upsell the client because of my emails that are set up through the sequence that's tied to this opt-in page. Okay. So, um, Again, if you're not using Kartra, man, you're, you're, you're just juggling multiple services and, and you're, you're spending more money than you need to be. Profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial. It's in the description, okay? I don't need to keep telling you guys about that, but it's, it's, it's a game changer, man. So over the next few weeks, they're going to get an email from me. Um, value, upsell, value, upsell, and really just getting them to get back on the phone with me. Um, especially in this case where they're just hiring me to do a few simple things up front. Um, and, and where I really want them is on a monthly retainer um, later. And, and my emails are set up that way. So I don't have to keep calling them. I don't have to keep messaging them. I just tell them, hey man, check your emails over the next couple weeks. I got a bunch of value coming your way. And that's in those emails that's where I, I, I provide the link to my calendar to get them to schedule calls so I can get them back on the phone and upsell them even more. Okay. So, um, this is a client that I just brought aboard. So the, the information already went through, I already received the, the initial welcome email back with, with their information on, on, on logging in to their account. And so here's what I do. I, I, I log into their account from a, a normal tab, right? From freaking um, this, this window right here. But then I go into incognito. I go over here and I go new incognito and I log into mine 
in the incognito because I need to be logged into mine and I need to be logged into theirs. Okay. So once I log into theirs, I'll log into mine in incognito. And then this is, this is what I do. I'll come to their business page and I'll grab the link up here at the top, the URL. I'll copy that. And then I'll come over here to um, my page, my page, and then I'll click on I'll click on my drop down right here, and I'll come down to manage ads. And now I'm going to come into the back end part of the business manager. Okay, so now now I'm in the business manager, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three three lines up here at the top. And yours might look a little different if you're on a newer version because Facebook they keep changing this you know, all the time. And so this is how mine looks right now, but yours might look a little different. But what you're looking for is you're looking for either these three lines or you're looking for business settings. You'll find them somewhere um, in the new version as well. You'll see business settings, click on that. And this is what we're looking to do. So we come into the business set settings and we're gonna click on pages to the left. We'll click on the pages and make sure you're the correct ad account, which that one is not the correct ad account. So let me go into the correct ad account and then I'm going to click on pages. Okay. So I click on pages and these are all my different clients that I'm working with right now. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on pages and I'm going to click on add. I'm going to request access to a page. Okay. That middle section right there. And all I'm going to do is paste in that link and you'll see the drop down come down right there and you just hover over it, click it. And right here is going to ask you, okay, what, what type of access are you looking for? What role are you looking for? Are you looking just to publish content? Are you looking to moderate messages and comments? Are you looking to create ads, view page performance? What are you looking to do? What's your role, right? What I end up doing is I end up just accessing the whole thing. Give me admin access because I don't want to have to keep messaging the client. I don't want to bother the client. If something comes up and I can't access something, I don't want to have to, you know, take them away from their day-to-day -day activities of building their business. I want them to know that I got this part handled. So I request access to everything. Okay. Now, again, this is stuff that I'm doing. All I asked for from the client was, Hey, give me your login. I'm going to, rec I'm going to add myself to your business page and I'm going to take it, take, take care of it from there. That's all they know. That's all they need to know. They don't need to know any of this, this stuff. They don't need to know how I'm actually requesting the access. They don't need to know that I'm actually doing it myself this way. They don't need to know any of that, which they don't, and they don't even care. So just give me the act, just give me the login. I'll handle the rest. And so this is what I do. I, I hover over that and I'm going to, I'm going to request admin access. I request access and then I go back to her page. Okay. I go back to her page and then I click on settings and over here to the left, you're going to see page roles and you should, and, and we're going to see, we should see my company name, um, requesting access. And so this right here, you'll scroll down just a bit and you should see your name right here. So there I am right there. Inspired digital respond to requests. It's going to ask for the password. You're going to go ahead and say, give inspired digital access, approve request. And this is where the password goes. So let me pull up her password. And her password is seven, two. Okay. So put in the password, we hit enter and then I hit no thanks. I don't need to say that on my end that way. And then now you'll see my, um, actually you may not see it, but now I have access. So as long as it didn't say wrong password, password or anything like that, then you should have, have access. So then now, oh, there, there it goes right there. Perfect. So now it's showing me right there. And then what I do and what you have to do is you come back over here to your incognito and to your page, you click on close. And then right now, right now, this is how it looks. Okay. This is how it looks. Request access and it's pending. You have to hit refresh. So you hit refresh and then it's going to say access granted or some shit like that. Let's see what it says. It says, um, it says, it says, um, permissions given. Okay. So permissions given, 
I got all of it. That's admin access, all of it, right? And so what you have to do is you have to click on add people to add yourself because although the company name was, um, was, was, was tied to it all, there's an individual that's tied to that company name and, and Facebook needs to confirm that as well. So I'm going to click on this, add people, and then I'm going to come over here, add David Cantero, and then I'm going to come down and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing for my name as well. And that's that one right there. So I click on assign and then now I hit done. And now I can come, now I can go in there and run an ad for her. So that's how you request access you guys and the, and add and and requesting you're, there's two different things you're going to request access to you're either going to request access to um to their facebook business page or you're going to request access to their ad account and and i do both but in this case right now it's just the beginning we're just getting our feet wet um we're, we're just getting to know each other i'm building the relationship with this client i'm going to go knock out a few simple services and really crush it for her and that and 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 all I need access to is the business page. When we go on to the next step, which is when we go into hardcore heavy Facebook advertising, that's where I really want them. Is I want to be running Facebook ads every single day, and that's when we we bump up the budget, and that's when we bring them on as a monthly retaining client, right? So that's when I'll go and add, I'll I'll go and request access to their ad account and the reason why i want to do that is because now i'm going to start running facebook ads from their account but so i don't have to keep logging into their account i request access to their ad account and i can manage it from my end and the reason why you want to you want to get access to their ad account is so now facebook can start charging their credit card for the daily ads you can, they can start seeing all the reporting from the ads, but most importantly, so you can grab their Facebook pixel to start putting on all the pages that you're creating for them, which you should be creating the pages for them. Depending on what kind of Facebook ads you're run, running, you know, if you're running lead capture ads and you're running, you know, conversion ads and traffic ads, you're going to have to drive it to a landing page. And so I need that ad account. I need their ad account so I can start so I can so I can put their pixel on the Facebook business page and I can start tracking conversions. I can start running different ads. I can start running conversion ads and everything is being tracked from their pixel. So I hope that helped you guys. That is super simple. Now I can come in here. Let's go back. Let's go to my let's go over here to ads manager. And now I can come in here. And if I didn't do that step, I come over here and I hit the green button. Let's click on this green button right over here to the left. We click on the green button. If I didn't add myself and if I didn't request access to the page like that, when I come over here and run the ad, let's say I go into, and if you're in housing or if you're a lender or, or, or anything like that, employment credit, make sure you check this box and, and choose which one best fits your business. Um, that's super important. So let's say, for example, I come in and, and, and let's just say engagement, okay? I come to the second step, and it's going to ask me which page am I going to run it from. Um, it's, actually, it's, it's either going to ask me here or it's going to ask me on step three, which is the ad. So let's come to the ad. Let's see if it asks me over here. because Facebook has to know which page you're running it from. So right here, this is where you hit the drop down. And if I click on Inspired Digital, I should now see her name. There it is right there, Carrie Lee. So if I didn't do those steps, her name wouldn't have been right here and I wouldn't be able to run an ad from her page. I'm running the ad from my account, from my Facebook page. Facebook is charging me. And so in the beginning, I'm not even really showing the numbers to these clients. Not right now. They don't need to know all this. It's a simple, a few, a couple simple ads that I'm gonna do for them, which doesn't consist of a of a ton of analytics or reporting. So they don't need to see anything right now. That's why I'm running it from my end. Facebook's charging me, and I'm running it on their page. So that way I can run the ad from my end, but it's it's coming from their business page. So when you start seeing the ad in the newsfeed, it's coming from their business page. And 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 depending on the ad, the post, it's on their business page. So everything's on their business page because I added myself. And so if you didn't do those couple steps, request access and then add your name, 
you wouldn't you wouldn't see their name pop up right here and you wouldn't be running the ad from their business page which would throw off the entire campaign okay so hope that helps you guys for those of you that are freelancers or just starting out aspiring digital agency owners whatever um, this is how you're gonna act you're gonna request access to people's business pages so you can run Facebook ads and Instagram ads on their behalf all right you guys so I'll see you guys on the next video over and out peace